That's you know. Ч 
Jin! You found me. You handle that well. I should have heard him coming. Let myself get distracted. These people saw Mongols marching prisoners upriver. They had a blacksmith with them. Your brother? Sounds like it. They were taking him to a camp near the Canada Inlet. I know the place. Did you find any samurai to free your uncle? I found two warriors. Sensei Ishikawa and Lady Masako Adachi. You've been busy. Here. Kaka can help you. After we save him. Hard to believe I might see him soon. He's lucky to have you. You might disagree. That's what siblings are for. What about you? Any brothers or sisters? Lord Shimura is my only family. What will you do when he's free? Take a breath. Because then I'll know there's hope for our island. You feel that strongly? I've watched him win victory against impossible odds. And after your brother is free, what then? Honestly, I haven't had time to think about it. You're riding well. How are your wounds? Mostly healed. Your bandages did the trick. You don't share much about how you feel, do you? <laughs> I suppose you're right. My uncle taught me that a samurai masters his emotions, like you master a horse or a blade. That's a hard way to live. It's not supposed to be easy. There's a spot up ahead that overlooks the river. Should give us a good view of the Mongol camp. the camp. Tough to get inside. The Mongols threw that place together in days. There has to be a way in. Let's look. We need to reach Taka without putting him in danger. We'll find a safe approach. Defenses in back are formidable. You could scale the rocks on that side. If they're loose, they might give way. Alert the guards. The front wall there is still under construction. Could be a way in. We can look for a gap in the front wall. Slip inside. And cut down the Mongols where they stand. If something goes wrong, they'll kill the prisoners. I've seen them do it. We have to go in quietly. Like thieves. What's wrong with that? 
Before the samurai, this island was ruled by criminals. We changed that by creating order and delivering justice in the open. We live by a code of honor, and sometimes we die by it. Warriors like my father, who just wanted to give us a safer home. I want the same thing, but we have to fight back. I promised my uncle I'd never break our code. Then bend it to save my family and what's left of yours. Let's get a closer look, see what we're up against. We should wait until it gets darker. Let's move. Taka, he's been through a lot, even before the invasion. But you took care of him. Someone had to. He hated when I stole, but it was that or star. I didn't have a choice. I didn't choose to be a samurai either. But going against my instincts, my code. It's better than getting wiped out by the Mongols. We have to fight back, any way we can. Through here. See us, they'll kill the prisoners. Then we better stay quiet. Think, Jin. The bear is running with a limp. Your arrow wounded him. This is when a beast is most dangerous. Remain alert. Yes, Uncle. Keep after him. I didn't think bears lived here. They don't. But the fighting in Yarikawa drove some this way. So it's the rebels' fault. We should feed them to this bear as punishment. We are not barbarians, Jin. The bear stumbled here. Is it dying? No, but we're getting closer. Stay ready, Jin. 
Yes, Uncle. If it's still alive, can I take the shot? Prove you can control your emotions. Then, perhaps. Got him. Careful. He could still be alive. This arrow should not have killed him. Look, Uncle. There's a gash in his side. Not from an arrow. An assassin! From Yarikawa! Traitor! You would stab the stone in the back! Sakai! Control yourself. We are not criminals like this man here. We are samurai. He tried to kill you. He must answer for this crime with his life. Don't look him in the eye. And teach him that samurai never acts out of anger or fear. And take his life with honor. When we fight, we face our enemy head on. And when we take their life, we look them in the eye with courage and respect. This is what makes us samurai. Only cowards strike from the shadows. Jin. What's wrong? Let's find your brother. We can't let them see us. Use all your senses. Think and move like a thief. Thank <laughs> you. 
Prisoner. Taka? Let's find out. No, it's not Taka. you get in here? We need to go. We'll talk when it's safe. Come on. Let's get to the river. We'll be safe there. Are you with the Straw Hat Ronin? I was. I cut ties with them after they started running low on rations. Lord Shimmer has been captured, and I could use some extra swords to free him. Are you looking for work? No, but the other Straw Hats may be. Last I heard, they were hunting Mongols in Tsitsu Prefecture, by the coast near the Kishi grasslands. This way. We're looking for my brother, a blacksmith named Taka. Don't know him, but a lot of prisoners move through here. You said they were moving the slaves. Where? They mentioned Asimo Bay. And there was a blacksmith in the last group. Young man with a beard. From Yarikawa, maybe. You'd better be right. I hope you find your blacksmith. Taka's alive in Asmo Bay. The town is surrounded by walls. Rushing in without a plan will only put him in more danger. I have a friend who might be able to get us inside. Find him. The sooner we rescue Taka, the sooner we save my uncle. Jin. Taka will forge whatever tool you need as soon as he's free. But after that, we're leaving the island. You've seen what the Mongols are doing here. Lord Shimura can stop them. Stay. 
Help us fight for a home. Home is wherever Taka and I go. My friend lives in Asmo Prefecture, on the border with Tutsu. I'll find you there. I know this wasn't easy. Going against your code. I did what I had to. Thank you. Lord Shimura. You deserve better than this. Convince your people to stop resisting, and you can walk free. Stop wasting my time. Kill me. Mm, you think you've lost everything. But your nephew is still alive. <laughs> my men control the roads. They build war camps near your towns. They see everything, and they will find him. Lord Sakai will fight until his last breath. As will I. You love him. Just as you love your people. You're a father to them. Will you abandon your children? I won't make them your slaves. Sakai! Sensei, any word on Tomoe? Yes, but I'm not sure you are ready for her. You make her sound like a demon. That's not far off the mark. Tomoe is fearless. She is not samurai, but she is a born killer. I know the type. No, you do not. Come. Where are we headed? An archery range. The locals of Mongols training there. I suspect Tomoe was with them. If Tomoe is truly fearless, she'd make a useful ally. A starving leopard is fearless too. Leopards can't master your way of the bowl. Let it go, Sakai. She will never join us. Why did she turn against you? I took a risk sharing all I knew with her. When she betrayed my trust, I punished her. It must have been harsh. You saw what she did to the prisoners at Fort Nakayama. That was no mistake. That was a choice. And not the first time she's made it. We don't know it was her fault. You don't. I do.
You have to climb to get there. Sure you can make it, Sensei? What are you waiting for, Sakai? You need a hand, Sensei? Not bad, Sakai. You said the only way up was to climb. No. I said you had to climb. It's good exercise. Arrows, Mongol and Japanese. If they were here, they're long gone. We might pick up their trail by the practice target. There is no target. Near that watchtower. Not bad, Sensei. Find out where they went. Move it, Sakai. How many Mongols is Tomoe training? A severed head. Used for target practice. Sensei! Mongols here! Good work, Sakai. Resting your bow arm, Sensei? Observing your response to an ambush. You knew those Mongols were still here? Yes. You didn't think to mention it? If you can't handle a few Mongols, what good will you be against Tomoe? This is war, not a test. And how many wars have you fought? I'll test you as I see fit. I can see why Tomoe attacked you. <laughs> now, where did she go, Sakai? I'll look around. A lot of tracks. A dozen men. Maybe more. Follow the trail. If we catch her, do not wait for me. Attack and keep moving, or you'll die. Do you plan to use your bow this time? If we find her. And if not? Can you take a dozen enemy soldiers without me? If I must. Good answer.
look at them. And they're practicing what Tomoe taught them. Murdering the innocent. Did you see a Japanese woman with these Mongols? I couldn't believe it. She was giving them orders. What did she say? Something about the Sensei. And the hot springs. That's all I heard, my lord. Forgive me. Monster out of hunt. They heard Tomoe giving orders to the Mongols. She mentioned Hiyoshi Springs. She's just getting started. Sakai, the way you fight, it's not your uncle's way, and it's not mine. We've never faced an enemy like this. I do what I must to defeat them. A samurai is a guardian, not a killer who darts around like a thief. You didn't see Komodo. I've seen enough! I know it was brutal, but I won't train another monster. I know. I won't let that happen. If Tomoe is going after Yoshi Springs, I need to prepare. So do you. I'll see you at my dojo, Sakai. black powder into a clay pot, I can set it flame and throw it as a weapon.
Sora. Would you like to see what I have? Lord Sakai, you must do something. It's Kii Sake Brewery in Azamo. That brewery is the pride of Tsushima. I remember the first time I tried Kii Sake. Soon there will be none left. The Mongols are taking it by force. I'll see what I can do. the tale of Tadayori, my lord. I know his name, but I've not heard of his exploits. 
It's long believed the Ama Tadayori War granted him great power, that it would be disastrous should it fall into the wrong hands. Then I can't let that happen. I'd like to hear more of this story, and this armor. The musician Yamato may be able to help. He told me the legend in Azumo, near the river that separates it from Sutsu. Any news of Tomoe? Travelers have been shot dead on the roads in and out of Yoshi Springs. People are afraid to leave or deliver supplies. You think that's our doing? Hmm. A few archers at strategic points can isolate a whole town. A tactic of yours when you were Clan Nagao's archery master. Tomoe was a good student. Too good. We're fighting your own reflection. We will turn that to our advantage. How do you propose we find these archers? We think like Tomoe. We want to control movement in and out of Hiyoshi Springs. Where do we put archers? A handful of men could shut down the road to the coast. Yes. I would want someone looking over the bridge into town. So would I. The road south runs along a high ridge. Perfect place to rain down arrows. Tomoe would agree. There's hope for you. Let's go hunting. What else did you teach Tomoe? I held back nothing. Including why you left class? That's no secret. It was time to retire, and the hot spring suited me. But you continued to teach? Not at first. What changed your mind? The bow is my life. Putting it down felt like death, so I chose to live. But do you regret giving up a warrior's life? Mastery of the bow is mastery of oneself. That is the only victory worthy of a samurai. The rest is noise. Lord Sakai, 
I studied poetry with your uncle. The Mongols have taken Lord Shimura captive. Mm -hmm. He will endure. He is strong and resilient, skilled in the art of combat and poetry. Do you practice haiku, my lord? There is no time during war. War is the reason to make time. Haiku allows one to concentrate, eliminate chaos. To find peace. Precisely. My favorite place to write lies atop the cliff. It is one of many such places. If you look, you will find inspiration all across Tsushima. I hope I can find quiet places like this one, untouched by war. Look for the birds. They will show you the way. Getting close. Eyes open. Huge All those innocent, dead. Tomoe has thrown everything away. Betrayed her people. She is a traitor because the Mongols offer power, wealth, status. It was denied her by birth. Tomoe knew she was born to a lower station than she deserved. Now you're being too kind. Kindness can be useful. Even to a warrior. Who told you that? Sun Tzu? My uncle. And he didn't tell me. He showed me. Mercy creates a debt. Your uncle showed mercy to people who pose no danger to him. A safe bet. 